Hey, it's Mr. X Irish here with the first installment of a new series I'm going to be doing called Total War News Wednesdays. Um, it's basically just a little kind of video podcast I guess I'm going to put out um, every two every two weeks on every Wednesday, um, just regarding any news or any stories I found interesting about the Total War kind of community. Uh, maybe some other real time strategy games if we get time, and uh, just basically just kind of just kind of an observation of what's going on in the Total War community. Um, so for this week on October 9th, in the last two weeks, I think the biggest thing really was the uh, gameplay um, video for Rome, Total War, Rome 2. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at that gameplay. Sega. Carthage makes a mockery of Rome. They must be punished! Those walls can withstand any attack! Scipio will not fail! Fire! This will never end! They will never surrender! Take those walls! Gods, what have we done? So that was the uh, first gameplay video for uh, Rome 2. A um, couple things I thought about it. I thought the fact that they are not bringing it back, but that um, the ability to obviously, I'm assuming, from seeing the kind of the siege towers and the climbing the walls, that sieging is going to be a major thing in the next uh, installment of Total War. Um, I played a lot in Napoleon Total War and I played a little Empire. And I, that's one thing I kind of, I mean, I just started Medieval Total War, and one thing I really like about it is our siege battles. I think they're really cool, like just the watching, you know, having to figure out how you're going to get your troops over the over the wall and how you're really going to be able to take the enemies either, for, you know, fort or castle. Oh, I just I thought that was a really cool aspect of the game. So I'm really glad that that's going to be in Rome, too, at least from what the, well, from the looks of it. And um, there's only a couple scenes in there that really gave you an idea of maybe what the animations were I think one was raid about you know when they when you have those up close scenes obviously that's really nice animation but you're probably not going to see much of that in the game itself because you're never up that close up that close unless that's a new thing in Rome 2 but there were many scenes that I liked Gods, what have we done? that kind of gave a broader view from above like that one right there just that little scene right there I thought that looked really cool and the graphics looked really nice and uh, hopefully it won't take a supercomputer to run Rome 2 super well but just from that gameplay right there, all we've been seeing are screenshots, really, uh, which I'll get to next. But um, that video is, looks like a, gives us really a really neat um, in, uh, look into what Rome's probably going to bring. Rome Two is going to bring, and uh, some other news is there was uh, some photos, there were screenshots that were released um, to the public. Um, we'll take a look here. You know, one thing I'd be cool if they kind of had a siege apps aspect to the game where you're also coming from the sea. You know, you're not just um, on the land near the castle or the fort, you actually have to land the ships onto the beach and um, storm the castle. Obviously, this is Carthage here. Um, this is kind of that same scene in the video from above. Um, this is kind of, I think, a better idea of what the actual gameplay is going to be. And if this is just what the gameplay is going to be, that would be that would be terrific. That's stunning graphics, really, and it looks like a lot of fun to play. Obviously, there's the siege tower, the Roman troops coming um, over the walls. So we've got some archers here, and you can see the, I don't know if that's the, if that's Greece there or what, but you can see that in the, dith or Athens, excuse me, or I don't know for sure what that is, but you can see uh, those neat graphics. Just a couple more photos here. Obviously, there, I'm assuming there's going to be some naval warfare, judging from the fact that, you know, that was a big thing in Empire and Napoleon Total War was the naval warfare aspect. I'm assuming they're going to have that in uh, Rome Total War, and that would be kind of a um, neat aspect as well. And just some more photos here um, of gameplay shots. So those look really neat. And another kind of in, intake into um, uh, ever building um, hysteria for the release of Rome 2. And uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact um, I mean, I wasn't sure how to take this, but um, that a book deal was reached. Um, for Rome 2, which is kind of interesting. I don't, I don't think that's happened in any other Total War games. 
but um, the fact that they're going to have a couple of, couple of books based around Rome too. Um, the author of the books is going to be David G uh, G David G Gibbons. Um, he's from Canada. He's wrote a couple of books, some fiction and nonfiction. Um, so I mean, I've never really I've never read any of his books, but I just think that's a really kind of neat thing that people will take. I hope you know some of those books have good amount of historical um, content to help you understand understand more perhaps the game you're playing. I mean, that would be really neat if they did that for future Total War games. If someone, you know, wanted to know more about Napoleon or more about, you know, rising empires in the, you know, 16th, 19th century, or more about, you know, uh, Japanese um, military, and they had books based around that, where it was obviously probably fiction, but incorporated a great deal of historical content for, for the uh, Total War reader to kind of understand more what they're playing. That would be a really cool thing that they continue to do in the future. Um, so those were the kind of the three major things I wanted to talk about. Another thing was I wanted to tr really try to get more people to join. If you've never heard of Reddit, it's a really neat website. I only f uh, discovered it, I guess, about two months ago. And uh, there's a whole... Reddit's a massive site that includes a lot of different um, subreddits of different games, you know, like Halo or COD. But um, a really cool one that I think is, could be a really great place for kind of uh, Total War uh, game gamers to unite and really have a nice community aspect is the subreddit Total War. So I'll give a link there. It's reddit.com um, subreddit Total War. Right now there's only about 6,000 people who are uh, subscribed to this uh, Reddit and usually online there's about 30 to 50 people constantly online. And I know there's way more than 6,000 people that play Total War so I really would think it would be a cool thing if we could get upwards to 10, 20,000 of people to join this subreddit. Um, it would be a terrific place you can just easily post a video you saw or um, a funny thing that happened during your um, latest campaign or just any screenshots we'll take a look here um, and it, also a place where you can ask questions about um, any qu like really any questions you have regarding campaigns errors you know how can you what new tactics against this nation or what maybe a new strategy to try to conquer a different land for any Total War game from the first Shogun to the last Shogun and t from Rome to Napoleon like here it was a funny picture of someone there obviously they're in the, a naval battle and you can see there's about 30 uh, Spanish ships approaching and you just stuff like that is just really neat to it kind of brings a greater community aspect to the Total War and it's really easy it's free you just you don't even you just have to you don't even have to put your email in you just have to have a login and a password and it's just a really cool place for um, gamers to um, come together to talk about uh, Total War in, in particular. So I really encourage you to join Reddit and subscribe to the subreddit Total War. It's a great place to um, talk about Total War. And hopefully I'm going to incorporate this more and I'll get some, I get a lot of news from here. And um, hopefully we can just can help make that grow. Um, and other than that, obviously my channel here, I'm almost up to 80 subs. So I've been getting, I got about six subscribers the other day. And so I want to thank you guys for helping me grow so um, other than that this was the first um, installment of Total War News Wednesdays it'll be every two weeks um, every other week on a Wednesday because unless no more news comes up or unless you guys want more installments but um, for now it's just every other week on a Wednesday um, I'll just be giving brief updates and little um, snippets about what's going on in the Total War community so other than that this is Mr. X Irish thanks for watching the first installment of Total War News